Hey everybody, I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and I want to show you a new solar wind turbine charge controller that my son Adam designed and he built this. That was his idea to do this. Always lacking an amp meter um, with your controller so anyway we've incorporated an amp meter. You'll be able to turn a display on and off. Of course the other version, it might vary a little different. Now, this over here is the shunt bar and we've already mounted it for you. Digital charge controller, totally programmable. You can set this uh, several different ways. Now over here we have the brake switch, and this will be for your wind turbine. So you have brake, spin, and on. Now we've also built in a rectifier onto the board for you. Now it's all pre-wired, and here's the heavy cables. Now these will connect to your battery bank. And this small black and uh, red wire, this is the sense wire for the charge controller. This gets hooked up to your battery bank first before any wind or solar is connected to this and turned on. So always remember that the small sense wire gets hooked up first, then the battery leads, then you hook up your wind and solar. Now, this is the A400, and it's capable of up to 400 amps of input intermittently. It'll do up to 100 amps on solar. Now, the solar comes through here. You bring in your solar cable. To this post and back out of this post to the bank. Now your other solar cable will go to the battery bank. So this is a really nice well-built unit and it pretty much takes care of wind and solar. So for a dump load if you have a wind turbine, now solar doesn't need a dump load, just, just the wind turbine does. So if you've got a wind turbine and you want a dump load, it's easy enough to set one of our dump loads next to this and connect up to this port. So anyway, there will be more information and a link to this charge controller down below the video. So I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, and we'll talk to you later.